I'll do. How about I just do a whole take? Okay. Okay. When are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. What makes this program unique here at the University of Cincinnati is the fact that we have decided that the best uh, experience for young students is to have broad-based learning in a variety of activities at the undergrad level. The composing part, that's the key ingredient one. Key ingredient two is to have the audio production and recording capabilities. And the third is that you better have some understanding of how business works. So we have a minor connected with the uh, Lindner College of Business uh, here at UC. The students will receive a minor in entrepreneurship, taking courses on how to build a company, uh, how to run a company. You know, you can take two or three songwriting classes here but you're also gonna take film scoring and you're also gonna learn the audio engineering side. So uh, do one thing great, do many things really well, and you can make yourself a valuable asset. So there's a little bit, I mean, just kind of a coincidence here, but like that same musical element, right, is present and like both these things that you're working on. Okay, last thing, uh, chasing cars. If you're gonna be in music, you better start with real passion for music. One of the great things about having the diversity of the course content they have to take is that somebody could come in thinking, I'm a singer-songwriter. This is what I want to do with my life. And they get in that film scoring course the first time, and they, they have been blown away. And they, now they take to that, they can't, you know, they can, <laughs> that's their love. Or it could be the singer-songwriter that gets in the studio and finds that engineering is their calling, and you can't get them out of the studio. My first year, here I only took composition classes and then um, I discovered that CMP existed and that there was a film scoring class and I was like why aren't I taking that? So I would reimagine this cue in a more inspiring way. What does inspiring even mean like in musical wise? I took the desktop music production one class which was my first introduction to using Logic Pro and using a digital audio workstation. And then the semester after that, I took film scoring and absolutely loved that class. And those two classes were the most interesting things that I had taken so far and got me more excited about music than I've ever been. I love music. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Now let's, let's move this up there as well. And when you hear a, a student that loves music, and then they create that yeah, music. Yeah, no piano there. Yeah, let's try that out. How can you not be inspired? One of the favorite classes that I took was a music production class where we were in the space and there was just four of us. Uh, the professor kind of was mostly hands off and just kind of let us do our thing, but we were just recording each other's songs and then mixing them. Dangerous game. really did not feel like school. It felt like we were just coming in to record songs and having a, a really good time and learning and growing at, all at the same time. I try to show them the things that are maybe even wild or things I assume they haven't really listened to then that opens up their minds so they know, oh, these things are possible, these are things I could do in my own production. I think art in 
any form is to help the artist discover who they are and how they see the world and to try to use this art as a communicator or as this thing to find audiences who share the same view. When I was in high school and looking at colleges and uh, applying here, um, I was very anxious um, and I, I hid that very well from people. Um, I liked to pretend that I knew things that I maybe didn't just to seem, you know, like I fit in. And one of those areas was music production, music technology. Um, it was something that really intimidated me. The whole community here with the students, um, they're all super, super supportive. Um, and it truly does feel like a community. So if I were to give advice to my younger self, that would be to not be afraid of what you don't know. Because um, once you jump into it and accept those things that you don't know and really allow yourself to learn, that's, that's when you grow. Don't you wanna take my